If you're still fairly new to using lasers, there's a couple things I want to point out. So when you're trying to find a laser, it's really important you look for one that has the right power, that has a good build quality, and has dependable stepper motors, rails, and all the things you need for the physical construction of the machine. But there's a couple additional things that you need to be aware of as well. So one is exhaust. Being able to evacuate the fumes from the piece because it's not good to breathe in, and also you don't want any of that settling on your workpiece. And the last thing is something called air assist, and that's what we're talking about today. This is a third-party air assist from a company called Congro. They make a lot of different products, ranging from 3D printers to aftermarket products like this air assist here. And they sent me this unit out specifically for the X-Tool. It's fairly simple in what comes in the kit and how it goes together, and I'll be putting that together in just a moment. In the box, you'll get a specified air hose, clamps, zip ties, couplings, and custom shrouds that automatically match the finish of the X-Tool D1, which is actually kind of a nice little touch there to make it look like it belongs with the machine. And of course, the small little air pump. Um, I have another air pump I'll show a little bit later that I have used for my K40. And it's a little bit larger in size, at least it appears larger, but I really like this one, specifically because of these little feet there. Air assists like this and air pumps tend to vibrate really fast. And these will help dampen that and keep it in place, hopefully. Otherwise, it'll kind of like bounce all around. Usually in my review videos, I do kind of like a time lapse of putting things together, but I wanna point out a couple things with this one. So first of all, the instructions are pretty sparse on putting things together. They have instructions for a couple different laser modules that this is compatible with, which is great. Um, and they also have, of course, the directions for the x D1, but it's not entirely clear on a couple things. So if you're technically inclined, if you're used to putting things together, you can probably figure it out, but it's not going to be really detailed. There's a very, very small set screw right in there that you have to loosen before you can slide this on. But the reason why I'm pausing right now to show this is that hopefully you can see right in there, I'll focus a little bit better, is that that is the inlet for the air. And it doesn't line up really well. You can see that little bit of brass in there. And that is the part of the laser module there, which means that the air going in is going to be partially obstructed by that. And I don't think that's quite right. So that's one small thing I see that probably should be a little bit better, maybe designed a little bit different, um, maybe having a little bit more of an offset on that. But just want to point that out now. I'm going to go ahead and put more of this together. New shroud. New elbow, spring-loaded tension for the hose. And the hose should just slide in like this. And hold in place. So we just put together, got the new cover, the new shroud. The airline is installed to the air pump here. So we go ahead and turn it on, make sure it's blowing air. There it is. And the air pump itself stays pretty stationary. Some of their models will walk around a little bit and jump around. This one is staying pretty pretty still. And I feel the rest of my table. I can't even feel the rest of my table vibrate, so that's pretty good. One last thing, if you can see on the speed control here, it is not just a simple on and off. It has a variable speed setting. I don't know if speed's the right word, but maybe pressure. So, and then all the way up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on the machine and run some tests.
So here's the result of the first test. This one here is without the air assist and the grave actually looks pretty good. And there is with the air assist. Now, strangely enough, and I have to be honest with you, this, the one without the air assist looks better. And I think that's because of this kind of like micro detail of the engraving where some of the smoke or the small detail was more embedded in the wood where here it might have been kind of blown away a little bit more off the surface. And I think that's what kind of happened. With a deeper engrave, maybe a little bit slower, we probably see a little bit of a difference, but the air assist is doing what it should be doing. Now, the real test has to do with cutting because cutting tends to be a little bit more intensive in terms of the laser power and there's usually more burning as far as that goes. So this right here, was the one without air assist. Now for the most part, it looks like a clean cut. It cut all the way through, although this is only 1.5 millimeter plywood, so it should. Now by comparison, this is with the air assist. It is a lot cleaner around the edges, and I hope you could see it the way I can see it in person, and there's less of that smoke build up on the edges, so it is a lot cleaner cut. And this matters too, because you want to cut down on the amount of post-processing and finishing you want after a piece. Now, I'm going to run one more test with some thicker material. Remember, this is 1.5 millimeter plywood. Let's see if we could run it with some 3 millimeter and get a little bit of a clear result. It doesn't cut us out of thicker material. This is 3 millimeter ply. This is the typical thickness material that's usually used on lasers. I did some simple shape cutouts out of the 3 millimeter ply. You can see right there all the burning around the edge as opposed to one with the air assist. Not quite the case. I want to do one more test and I'm going to test with some cardboard material just to see if I could get something to flare up a little bit more and you know further demonstrate the difference between using air assist and not using it. So final test for this video, I was cutting out some box joint parts out of really, really thin stock cardboard sheet. I'm really not even sure what this stuff is called. It's, I wouldn't even call it chipboard. I think it's a little bit thinner than that. But right there, you could see where the cardboard essentially burned and really got some pretty bad charring. If I went any slower, I probably would have had a live flame on this. But luckily enough, that didn't happen. And then the obvious difference with the air assist. So it looks like the benefits of an air assist are pretty clear, especially if you want to minimize charring on your piece and just have a cleaner product in the end. If you don't already have an air assist for your machine, check out this ComGrow. It is a third party product. It does only work with some lasers. I'll have more information listed down below. And if you do choose to buy this one, it does support the channel. It does help us out. And if it doesn't fit your laser, then I hope you're able to find a system that works for you. I want to thank you for making it this far in the video. It's greatly appreciated. We also have a lot of videos in our back catalog, so go ahead and check those out. You might find something that you like there as well. If you want to continue supporting the channel, watching our videos is one way to help, but we also have a Patreon with different levels of rewards and perks for those that join, including a discount in our shop, which you find at geekbuilders.net. We have store t-shirts and other items, and we have a lot of things we're taking through the store all the time, and we're gearing up for the holidays, so you're gonna find a lot of new products in there very shortly. So in the meantime, don't forget to design, make, and play. I'll see you in the next video.